welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at some Animal Crossing accessories for your Nintendo Switch. But we're not going to be looking at any accessories. We're going to be specifically looking at those you can get on sites like Wish, AliExpress or others of that sort. Now, if you've never shopped on these sites, it's important to note that almost all the products are not going to be officially licensed. They're basically generally Chinese knockoffs of accessories that exist or sometimes don't even exist in an official capacity. Now, being knockoffs doesn't always mean bad quality. Some of them can actually be pretty decent. And that's sort of the point of today. I ordered basically every one of the accessories that I found looked useful or looked to be of decent quality to be able to check them out for you guys and see if, you know, if you want to pick up any of these, are they worth your time? Now, to be clear, I honestly wasn't expecting much because I've ordered products like this in the past from like Wish and like I said, AliExpress. And most of the time, I would say the majority fail to impress me or fail to actually end up being useful in a real gaming capacity. However, this time stay tuned because I was actually pleasantly surprised. I would say that the vast majority of these products, if I was looking for something function wise uh, that the product was made for, I would actually buy these again. Of course, if you're a fan of Animal Crossing and you also want to have Animal Crossing themed accessories. One last thing before we get started. Most of you already know this, but Animal Crossing came out all the way back in March and I actually ordered these products all the way back in March. However, with the world going crazy like it did, well, basically these products were coming from China and yes, I only got them basically end of July to beginning August, which is why this video is coming out only now. Now, I do know things have gotten slightly better and we're cl closer to the normal shipping time of around a month, but it's something to keep in mind in case you want to pick any of these up. You might have to currently be ready to wait a little bit longer than usual to actually get these products in. Now, to start, I actually have a little surprise. I didn't only buy Nintendo Switch accessories. I also bought clothing. And basically, I got myself some Animal Crossing themed t-shirts and sweaters. So, let's start by getting in the mood. So, here we are. The first Animal themed Crossing t-shirt I got. Honestly, these t-shirts are way better now than they used to be. I've been ordering t-shirts from China for quite a few years and I've got to say, on average, the product quality has actually gone up. They've sort of adjusted to the North American market and what we expect to get when we buy clothing. Now, it's not on par with what we're normally used to, but honestly, it's pretty decent quality. It breeds well and I find it looks just awesome. Now, there's honestly so many varieties available. You can have Tom Nook's face and huge on your t-shirt, or you can have a more subtle design. I went for a couple of more subtle designs because I wanted to be able to wear them every day without necessarily garnering everyone's attention. And at the same time, fans are gonna recognize this, but at the same time, you can wear it anywhere and basically not look out of place. But you know what? That's not all. I also got a hoodie. So, let's try it on. And here we are, once again, I'm pleasantly surprised. Honestly, when I got this hoodie, it was way better than I was expecting. And it's one of the first hoodies I get from China that's actually doubled. Like, you can wear this when it's actually cold outside and it's gonna keep you decently warm. However, once again, don't expect Under Armour quality, but at the same time, I wouldn't feel embarrassed wearing this out. And once again, I went for more of a subtle design, but if you want something that cr screams out Animal Crossing, check the websites out, you can get those as well. So I can't promise all of them are gonna be of such decent quality, but either I got really lucky or the two different sites I ordered the t-shirt and the hoodie from were actually really up to par with what we get nowadays. One last thing, if you're looking to actually buy any clothing, however, keep in mind that Asian sizes, you normally have to order at least two sizes bigger. Like I'm a large, but here in North America, I ordered XXL in both of these. The t-shirt was just fine, but even the hoodie is a little snug at XXL size. So, you know, make sure to order bigger. You won't be disappointed. Whew, sorry guys, had to get that hoodie off. With all the lights and everything here, I was just dying. But now let's get on to what most of you are probably here for. Let's take a look at the accessories. So I thought we'd get started with what you're probably going to encounter the most on all these sites, basically a Nintendo Switch case. 
Now, I got the Lite version, but they basically make the exact same case for both the Nintendo Switch Lite and the regular Nintendo Switch. Now, if you're wondering why I got the Lite, uh, there's actually two reasons. Number one is, you know, if you watch a lot of my content, I try to center a little bit more around the Nintendo Switch Lite than the classic Switch. But secondly, also, what's really interesting is I actually have the official Nintendo Switch case for the Nintendo Switch Lite. And I thought it would be really interesting to see what you get for the knockoff version. Now, I would say the first thing that will strike you about basically the knockoff case compared to the official Nintendo version is that the knockoff case is actually quite a bit larger. The official Nintendo case, and I reviewed this in my top uh, Nintendo Switch Lite cases, uh, the Nintendo case is actually one of the smallest, you know, full cover cases that you can get for the Nintendo Switch Lite. However, the knockoff case is more along the size of most third-party brands, such as those made by like Powerade or PDP. Now, if we move on to the look, however, now when you get the material in your hands, you can really see that there's a huge difference. The material is much more rigid on the knockoff case than the Nintendo case, but you can tell when you have the case in your hand that the padding, although it's more rigid, it seems to be thinner on the knockoff case. As you can see, the designs are not very vivid on the knockoff case compared to the official one. And on the official case, they're sort of raised designs, while this is really just a sort of coloring that they gave to the material. Now, when we get to the inside of the case, however, that's where uh, actually things get a little more similar. The inside of the cases are very similar. You can tell that the felt on the official one, which is this one, is a little bit softer, but the copy version is actually not too bad and they're actually offering straps to hold the Nintendo Switch Lite in uh, which is not offered uh, oddly on the official Nintendo version. Game storage capacity in both cases are the same and however because the knockoff case is quite a bit larger they're offering a zippered pocket at the top and that was maybe one of the issues with the Nintendo Switch case is that they made it so small and so sleek that very few accessories can fit in the official version, but the knockoff actually can fit quite a bit more uh, types of accessories. The knockoff version also comes with a pair of thumbsticks, basically the one I got, and a strap. Now, honestly, the uh, clip, however, seems to be of really cheap quality. I don't think it'll hold up too long. The clip at the end seems to be made all of plastic. Honestly, I'd be pretty worried. Like, I wouldn't trust, you know, hanging, the, hanging my switch off of anything using this clip. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying in any way that the knockoff case is better than the official Nintendo Switch case. I'm more saying that they're really targeting two different audiences. The Nintendo case is targeting an audience that wants a sleek, minimalistic uh, approach to their Nintendo Switch Lite, while the knockoff case is more going after an everyday audience that wants a balance between size and basically storage capacity, but at the same time doesn't mind taking up, you know, maybe double the space in a backpack. However, the kicker is really the price on these two cases. Basically, the official Nintendo Switch case is about 25 to 30 dollars depends also where you live here in Canada it can sometimes go even more expensive than that it's actually one of the more expensive switch light cases however the knockoff case cost me 10 bucks so for a third of the price you actually get a decent case it's themed after animal crossing it's going to keep your switch light perfectly protected however like I said, I wouldn't expect this case to last like three or four years. Like in my opinion, the material on the outside and the design is going to start fading probably, you know, after a year or so of use. If you use it regularly, this case is going to show wear and tear way faster than the Nintendo version. But at the same time, a third of the price, you know, it's something to think about. And that's why I said this is one of the first accessories that I got. And that's why I said I was pleasantly surprised. This is another purchase that I would recommend. Like if I had to go back in time and I didn't buy cases to review them, uh, I would put the 10 bucks on this case before I would put the $30 on the Nintendo case. Uh, just because money for value, it just makes sense in my mind. So next I thought we'd move on with some game storage. So there are a lot of different Animal Crossing game storage cases available on those sites. And I chose a couple. 
This is the first one that we're going to take a look at. Why? Because it's a knockoff of probably one of the more popular versions that are released on the Amazon site. Now the official ones at the moment I bought this were only available for like Zelda themed, Mario themed, but nothing was available yet for Animal Crossing. So at the moment I bought this, this was actually the only option if you wanted this type of case and you wanted to have an Animal Crossing design. And I've got to say, once again, I was really surprised by what I got. I was expecting this to be just like a cheap print, but no, this is really a rubberized layered design on the top of the case, like the original ones that you get. Unfortunately, I don't have any to compare them next to, but I've seen them multiple, multiple, multiple times in person. And the exterior of the case, the plastic they used is actually pretty solid and seems to be of pretty decent quality. Like I'm pretty sure this is gonna take quite a beating before breaking. Now let's take a look at the inside. So this case can fit easily 12 game cartridges. And once again, putting games in and out is really pleasant and easy. The rubberized design that they put on the inside, you know, for that purpose works really, really well. However, not everything is perfect. I mean, it's a decent product and for the price I paid, which was $8, it's hard to complain, but at the same time, you can see where they cut corners to reduce the price. Number one, this little clip attachment that basically keeps the case closed feels really flimsy. Like if there's anything that's gonna break on this case first, it's gonna be this clip. And once this clip is broken and the case doesn't stay closed, well, you're sort of gonna lose a lot of its functionality. And the second thing that you can see that they caught corners and I'll take a couple of games out and you'll see what I'm talking about is that basically the inside is just a basic rubber little insert and it actually comes out easier than I would like. Like it's not gonna fall out in my opinion, at least not in the beginning, but I would be scared that over time, especially if it gets you know exposed to a little bit of heat or whatnot, I would be really scared that this rubber interior will warp and won't hold in as much as well as it did at the beginning. So those were a couple of things to keep in mind, but once again, $8, really nice buy. And especially if you really want an Animal Crossing themed one, since I haven't come across an official one yet, I mean, this is a really good buy. And especially if you're looking for extra storage for your games, but you know, you just want to drag around like, you know, up to 12 extra games and not, nothing more than that. This is a perfect option and it's slim enough to fit in a lot of cases. Now, just before we get to the next accessory, I just want to remind all you guys that this is not a sponsored video in any way. I'm going to try to find links to the products I got, but don't forget I bought them like four or five months ago. I'm going to hope they're still on the websites. I will link them if I can. If there's any missing, I'm really sorry, but you're, if you scour those sites, you'll probably fall on them again eventually when they get back in stock. But if you would really want to help the channel out, please don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you aren't already. It really does help out the channel a ton. And basically, if I wanna get more content to you guys and be able to buy more accessories, well, those likes and those subscribes really help a ton. Next, let's take a look at another version of some game storage. However, this time around, the games come out in a Swiss Army fashion. Basically, rather than holding 12 get cartridges, this one will hold up to eight cartridges and there are two dedicated spots for micro SD cards. Once again, overall, for its primary utility, this accessory works well. However, the hinges, as opposed to the other one, are a little bit loose and do feel a little bit more flimsy. So I'm not sure if this accessory over time is really going to hold up, you know, as much as the other version would. So personally, if I had to choose between the two, I would have chosen the first model, but once again, I was pleasantly surprised by this one. However, the accessories, once again, it looks pretty good. It's Animal Crossing themed on both sides. Honestly, it came out much better than I was expecting. Like theoretically, this was the one that I had the least faith in to come out as a decent quality accessory. And I was really pleasantly surprised. The design is actually thoughtful. They actually put thumb holes at the back of the cartridges to help you release them from the case easier. Now, overall, this case actually did run me a little bit more expensive. It was around $10. And if I had to choose between this one and the previous case, I would easily go with the previous case. 
not only because the first one seemed to have a little bit better build quality, but also because size-wise, being as thick as it is, it'll be actually harder to fit into most switch storage cases. However, once again, if this format fits your needs better, well, you know what? This is another one of those accessories that I would easily buy again. Now, I actually kept the most disappointing accessory for last. It was the Animal Crossing Pro Controller case. Now, basically, what disappointed about this case isn't the functionality. It's the actual aesthetics of the case. If you look at the box and you look at what the case looks like, the design has the same elements, but of a totally different quality. And I don't know if all of the cases are like this, but the one I got was really awful. Basically, if you look at the print, it's quite, quite faded. You can see on the box that it looks much, much clearer than what I got. Tom Nook's face is supposed to be much smaller and centered and not sort of tilted 15 degrees to the right for some reason. So the print quality on this case is really, really poor. Once again, maybe it's just my sample, but if they're all like this, I would clearly stay away from this case. Uh, you know, you're better off just getting one themed completely differently. And it's not only the front of the case, it's the same problem on the back. If you look, the design for the leaf is completely off center. Like it's way more to the left side than it is supposed to be. Now, however, because I like to give every accessory a fair review, I will say, however, it's cute because it does have a zipper with the Animal Crossing leaf that seems to be of decent quality. And the inside functionality of this case is very good. It fits the Pro Controller perfectly. You could even use it for an Xbox One controller. And most of the third-party controllers that I have have actually fitted this case perfectly. The only one really that clearly did not fit this case so far that I've tested is the wireless Hori Pad. It's just too big, it doesn't fit in the case. Don't try it, it won't work. And there's even storage space at the top for like a USB-C charging cable, or even you could put your switch power supply in there. It'll fit perfectly in this case as well. Now the great utility for this case is that since it has so much storage capacity, you could actually go with a smaller switch case and fit a couple of accessories in this along with your controller and have a perfect on-the-go package. Now, other than that, there's not much to say about this case. Great functionality, awful presentation. And unfortunately, out of the accessories I bought today, even counting the clothes, the only one I would definitely not buy again is the case here. But unfortunately, maybe I just got unlucky and got a poorly printed version of it. And if you had a top quality printing, this would be a decent buy as well. And unfortunately, this was probably the most expensive accessory. It cost me $15. So there we have it. That was my Animal Crossing accessory haul. Obviously, there were a lot more accessories available on those websites, but I really wanted to pick and choose those that were most likely to end up being useful and also that seemed to be of decent quality compared to their officially branded uh, versions. But overall, I'm really pleased and surprised with these purchases. I mean, out of six items, if we include the t-shirt and hoodie, five of them I would definitely buy again if I was an Animal Crossing fan. And I wouldn't feel bad with going with the knockoff versions compared to the official third-party versions, counting all the money you save. Now, I'd really like to hear of any of you out there who have actually bought any of these accessories or any other accessories that I maybe haven't looked at so far that might be a worthwhile pickup. But what I would most like to hear about is, has anyone else bought this case and had a better print than I got? I really would like to find out, is it only the one I got and a lot of them out there look just fine? Or are they all such a poor print quality? Anyway, if you have the time, please let me know in the comments down below. I try to respond to as many people as possible. Now, just before we go, a quick reminder to drop a like on the video. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you aren't already and you would like to see more content. And as usual, I hope I'll see you guys in my next video.